so friends let's move ahead and see how we can calculate factorial of a number in a java program so in order to calculate factorial of a number we want that user should enter a number on the console and we provide him the factorial of it of that number so so from reading the input value provided by the user from the console we have to create a scanner object and in the constructor of scanner we will pass system dot in now here system dot in is our input stream which will be which will help scanner to read something from the console so let's move ahead and prompt the user to enter a number so here we will prompt the user to enter a number and whenever the user enters a number and hit enter enter key the scanner dot next int takes in that int value and will assign it to the number variable so we will create one more variable which will hold our say factorial result so it would be like int result and we will initialize it with one as factorial minimum value calculated by factorial is 1 so we will assign the result to a value say 1 now we will first check that whether user has enter a negative value or not so if so if the number is less than or equal to 0 we will assign result a value 1 because factorial of 0 is 1 and factorial of negative value is infinity so here we will just assign it as a 1 so let's move ahead and in the else part In this part, we will calculate the factorial of a number. So, if the user has entered value greater than zero, we will just use the for loop. In order to calculate factorial of a number, we have to use formula. Suppose if you want to calculate factorial of five, then factorial of five would be five into four into three into two into one. So, which will equal to say one twenty. So, suppose you want to calculate factorial of four, so factorial of four would be four into 3 into 2 into 1, and it will equal to say 24. So here, we the user has entered a number. So suppose he wants uh, number. Suppose he has entered number 6. So for our example, it would be factorial of 6, which will equals to it will be like 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, and which which will be say, equal to which is equal to 720. in order to calculate the factorial of a number what we have to do we have to just say either say we have to increase the number from 1 to 6 or say we have to decrease the number from 6 to 1 and we will just loop over each time and we do the multiplication so here we will use a for loop so here we have created a for loop this for loop will go from 1 to the number say if we take 6 in our case it will go from 1 to 6 say 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we will just do the multiplication inside this for loop say something like this if you want to store the factorial of number into result we will do result equals result into i so when the first loop runs the result value is 1 and i value is 1 so 1 into 1 will assign 1 to the result and when the next loop runs the so i becomes 2 and result becomes 1 so 2 into 1 will assign 2 back to the result here and the next time the loop runs it will be like 3 i would become 3 result will become 2 and 2 into 3 will become 6 and 6 will be assigned to the result so each time the loop gets executed we will just uh, do the multiplication of say previous result to the current count of the number so let's move ahead and now here after the else we will just print the result so factorial of a number would be result and now if we run the program we will see 
here it has asked us to enter number suppose we enter number as 6 and we as soon as we hit enter it will provide us the result that the factor of a number is 720 and suppose if we run it again and we assign it a value say 0 and hit enter so the factorial of 0 is 1 so it will return us the 1 so let's see what we did we initially created a scanner so we prompted the user to enter a number as soon as user entered a number and hit enter the scanner.next int took that int value and assigned it to the number we created a variable by the name result and assigned the value 1 to it and we first checked that whether the number is less than or equal to 0 if the number is less than or equal to 0 then send the factorial of a number equals to 1 and in the else part we use the formula say suppose we want to calculate factorial of 5 so factorial of 5 would be 5 then 4 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and they are all multiplication is equal to 120 so factorial of 5 becomes 120 and so in order to calculate this factorial what we did we created a for loop say here i value was say from 1 it became then 2 3 4 5 so in this for loop what we did we took the current result multiplied it with the current value of i and assigned it back to the result so it it went into the execution something like 1 into 2 then 2 into 3 then 3 into 4 and then 4 into 5 and finally it returned as the result so if and we went then finally we printed the result here which outputted as say if we entered factorial of a 6 then it will answer was 720 and so friends this was the program to calculate factorial of a number